Uh, it, it can be challenging to work at the Arizona Proving Ground. We're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the nearest town is uh, 30 miles away. Uh, my name is Tom Wolcott. I work at Harley-Davidson at the Arizona Proving Grounds. I've worked for Harley-Davidson for 11 years. It's located in Yucca, Arizona, approximately 3,300 acres of uh, pretty hardcore desert. Uh, we test here because of the extreme weather conditions. High temperatures, obviously. Uh, we can test year-round, which is important. Uh, we don't have to worry about snow and that sort of thing. The other th nice thing about the desert is that we get very low temperatures. In the winter, we can get temperatures down into the 20s, uh, so we can get some low temperature testing done as well. But the real important thing is the high temperature testing. For example, in, in the development of a bike like the Street Glide, uh, we would have uh, tested the vehicle under a, a wide variety of conditions and handling conditions. We would do you know, literally hundreds of thousands of miles of durability testing to make sure that the suspension and the frame design are capable of providing our customers with a safe and stable ride throughout their ownership. In the testing of Harley-Davidson products at the Arizona Proving Ground, we try to simulate a lot of worldwide climates by doing uh, corrosion testing where we put the vehicles uh, inside a, a humidity chamber at high temperature and high humidity in conjunction with salt spray and operating over some rough environments uh, just to help simulate more worldwide conditions that would be experienced in, uh, in climates where there's a lot of rain or corrosive environments like a salt or a, a coastal city. The systems test department at the Arizona Proving Ground where we have the vehicle test stands the goal is to be able to accumulate many, many miles on the powertrains uh, in a fairly short period of time because we can do it without the rider involved. But the, the key part of that is that we actually record rider inputs from vehicles and use those rider inputs to drive the, the servos and robotic actuations of the bikes while they're on the vehicle test stands. So they, while the vehicles are being created riderlessly, they are still receiving rider inputs. We will typically accumulate between five and 600,000 miles a year of testing uh, across platforms and different models as we work through our way through the validation and verification process. A lot of times we will instrument the bikes with many, many channels of, of data and operate them over courses that would exercise the suspension and the chassis so that we can look at how the suspension is moving, how the stress is being uh, distributed in the, in the chassis and the structure, and, and verify that, that as the vehicle is exercised over these extreme events, we can cover many, many thousands of miles of customer usage without any problem or worries from the customer. One thing that I think is, is unique about the Harley-Davidson product is that they are tested by Harley-Davidson riders. Almost all of our riders ride our products, they own our products, and it makes them very passionate about what they do. So they are, they're able to go out and ride these bikes day to day, ride six and a half hours a day, do all the paperwork in the heat, in the cold, in the rain, and they do it because they love it and because they want to push the brand forward to the next level.